Got a little more snow the last couple days. Been uh, busy just trying to keep up with it. Got my little uh, little maze for the dogs so they can come out and take a dump and at least have somewhere to walk around. Obviously, I use the snowblower. But um, as always, right before the storm, I had to uh, finally pick one up. Oh, yeah. So you remember I was telling you how I was uh, talking with the local legend or the retired local legend that used to do all the scrapping around this area and he said he had one for me but I guess he was waiting on the title so the thing was uh, in the front yard of the house there was a good amount of snow in front of it from the uh, plows and stuff you know and, and then the next day we were supposed to get it could have been um, they said you know six to ten inches we ended up only getting about five it changed to rain but um, so I had to kind of uh, run around and get it out of there before because then when um, you know, it came time, and then there'd be more snow, and it'd be even harder to get out, so. I forgot to ask him what was wrong with it, but he left so quick, he dropped off the uh, title and the key to me and put his hand out for the money, and I said, I don't have the cash on me, but he said, oh, no problem, I'll, I'll meet up with you sometime, get the money, and he said, but he needed the, uh, he said he needed the battery back, and the tires. For some reason up here, people are crazy about tires. That's all they worry about on vehicles is tires. And it's like the biggest issue. And they, I don't know how many junks I've picked up. And they said, you can have it or you, you can, you know, I want you to take it, but I'm going to need the tires back. That's the only thing. And uh, this one, I didn't really care too much because it had steel wheels and the tires are non-matching from front to back. Nothing great, you know, just some, just decent, you know. And, uh, you know, it's when there's aluminum wheels and that's when I start losing money because the guy pays me for each wheel, each aluminum wheel that's on it. And, uh, battery I really didn't care about because, uh, I mean, it's... I think they're about eight bucks a battery right now, so whatever, it's eight dollars gone. But I already had another one to uh, put in there, so I could start it up. But anyway, this is the one that was in it. He wants back, so I got in it and turned the key, and of course nothing happened. So I was trudging around in the snow, and uh, I ended up getting a boot in the in the wrong hole and then twisting and I ended up going over on my ankle so now I'm limping around so that's always good but I popped the hood and uh, you know the negative cable was just off so I put it on I heard it come on and everything there was power um, the thing started right up sounded good and I put it in gear just to see if it even moved and it moved back and forth a little bit you know it was there was snow right up to the to the headlights pretty much but um, so I said well I don't know what's wrong with it but um, it moved so it was only probably not even a mile may, maybe a mile and a half or so down the street around the corner not too bad so I said, well, if I can get that thing out of there, I'm just going to drive it home 
rather than mess around, hook up the trailer and all that stuff, because then I'm just going to have to unload it here. Anyway, get it in the garage, because i got to get the cat off of it and, you know, show you guys, you know, all the shenanigans with it and stuff. So, no sense in really towing it, going through all that. And uh, then I let it warm up, and I put it in gear, and there was nothing. It didn't move. So, I ended up um, calling a, a guy I know that does um, just kind of an all-around uh, handyman type guy. And uh, he's got a plow truck. And I said, what are you doing? Nothing. And he, uh, he said, I'm on my way. And I said, you know, I need, I need to just move a little snow in front of this van. So, he came right over plowed all the snow he was already all sauced up so it was even that much more fun and uh, of course forgot the cameras and stuff and probably would have been good to get some of it it wasn't too much that went on but he uh, he ended up moving the snow out in front of it for me and then uh, we just gave it a little tug with a uh, strap right hooked onto here and that's why we got a little bit of a little damage there and the headlight fell out but uh just tugged it out of there and I just I said just follow me and uh, I left my truck there and uh he followed me back and it it actually ran pretty good but a couple of the corners I took it like it just slipped and went into neutral for a second and then bang went back in so I'm assuming that they took it off the road for transmission issues and the uh the fluid is not doesn't look the greatest. When I pulled it out before, when it was warm, you could see like the gray, like metally type, of, you know, look to it. So, <clears throat> so I'm assuming, you know, it's got 277 for miles, so that's a lot for these. Um, these 3.3s are excellent engines. I'm actually pretty familiar with them. Uh, I worked on a ton of them throughout the years. Plus, my uh, parents had a whole bunch of these. And uh, they used to just run them into the ground. And uh, these these engines never skip a beat, you know. Uh, there was other, other issues. And one of the big things with these is the transmissions aren't very good. That's a common thing. So this probably already had a rebuild or two in its life, you know, having that many miles. But um, so I mean, it's uh, couldn't have been up in Maine for too long. It's, it's got hardly any rust on it. Usually these are all rotted. Um, I haven't even really had a chance to look at it. I just got it in the garage, and that day before we were going to get all that snow. So that way it was just in here and ready for when I came out. Um, and then plus I told you I, my ankle's just been, you know, I tried to stay off it for a day at least. And <sighs> hopefully it, you know, gets better quick. But it sucks when something like that happens because you got plans and they get ruined. But so... You can see the thing's just pretty clean. Not a bad fan at all. Um, so it's a 2006, which is uh, you know why I had to wait to get that title because um, can't do anything with it up here. So uh, right now it's 2002, and newer needs title to even just scrap it, so. So it's an 06 Grand Caravan, and uh, you can see the miles there.
nice bent key doesn't work doesn't unlock anything That was for me, left the window open. Oh. You got a corona mask. Seems like it's got some sort of a CD changer somewhere in here. Like I said, I haven't even looked at it yet. Here's your number one telltale sign why that transmission's gone. Is that hitch right there? Oop. Just chirping. They were towing something. That's a class three hitch, so it wasn't light. The AC compressor. Try to kick on for the defrost. Moldy jar has an herb in it. Got a homemade little console thing here, little catch tray. Made it with some cedar, firewood. Oh, making money. You get a quarter. Nice pen. Don't want to be alone, main woods. You got the insurance information. Registration. Little tin of the goodness. Nice little tin.
Samsung plug or USB. Need that. Cord for it. What is that? Whoa. Jane Monheit? I don't know. Huh. You got nickel back in there. That's nice. I don't like that shit. A nice red silverware, Dollar Tree. Well, what's this? Get some work done. Replace the alternator. Alternator supplied by the customer. And they says a wheel nut. Two wheel nuts. They charge them twenty dollars to replace two lug nuts. This place is right uptown, I know the place. And then they replace the alternator with one that the customer supplied. Total bill hundred and eleven dollars. The hell was that? A buck eleven. Money. Main lottery. Money, money. Little scratcher. Maybe we'll hold on to that. Oh. Oh, a bunch of stuff in here. Brand new oil filter. Magnets, we got some Torx bits. We got some ribbon. The owner's manual, I know what we're gonna do with that. Oh yeah, a little roll of clear tape. Look at this. Always oh, got bulbs. Light bulbs. Flashlight that works? That is what I'm talking about. Want some flossers? Four van. Dodge regular lights. A roll of scotch tape. Some good stuff. Well, it did the dipstick in. Got a CD player? How do you work that?
Now no one will ever know how to fix it. Antifreeze. That's one. That's a new one. Never seen that. Antifreeze in the milk jug. You got a pitcher. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh. Swing line stapler. Now this. See, this is just stupid. People always leave brand new jugs of antifreeze. This is a brand new jug. Just cracked it. This stuff's expensive. And this is the Napa stuff. It's like gold. It's like pure gold. that a whole pack of stapler I mean staples be a swing line stapler imagine that Woo! look at this fancy thing oh my snow scraper my new one? Wow. It's got the stow and go. Twenty cents. Go and go. You gotta put the seats up and then those go right down into the floor. And then that's all open. Stow and go. It's just receipt for. Savings bank withdrawal three hundred and twenty dollars they took out of the bank. Current balance after was seventy nine cents. That's not too good. What's this? Oh, that light's bright. Oh, a little movie, a little DVD player for the kids, There's one right there, one on this one, oh yeah, shit used to be worth a lot of money, now it's all junk. in there. Always get damn minivans. That's all I get. Stupid minivans.
and the rear door is never open. Wow, what's up with this light? Got a tube. A tube. We gotta get this door open. There's a bunch of stuff back here. Look at that tire. That's what I'm talking about. Every single minivan I get, the rear door doesn't open. I tried the key, I tried the power unlock, I hit the button, it doesn't open. I'm getting real tired of this. A lot of these in there too. No work. What's this, the Louis Vuitton? Penny. I like that on the old eBay. CJ's Goody Shop on eBay, where you'll find a bunch of stuff. You might want to take a look. You never know what's on there. The ball tire and a bunch of McDonald's cups. Stir it up.
Martin. Nice hat.